Spring is an exciting time of year for golfers, but that excitement can quickly disappear if winter kill has affected your course. Superintendents do everything they can to prevent winter damage, but even with the best programs, when the right environmental conditions exist, it may still happen. To repair playing surfaces as fast as possible, superintendents immediately develop a recovery plan based on the extent of the damage. Areas of minor damage may recover with fertilizer, traffic restrictions, and some warm weather, but large dead areas will need more aggressive action. Damaged or dead turf is often aerified or verticut, followed by seeding to allow new grass to fill in where the winter kill occurred. Cool spring weather can slow down recovery, so it's important that everyone's patient. When the soil is cold, turf covers can be used to warm things up, but it may still take a month or two before the damaged surfaces are fully healed. Plugs or sod may be needed to speed up recovery in severely damaged areas. There are lots of ways to recover from winter kill, but one thing that's universal is the pressure to open damaged surfaces before they're ready. Traffic from carts or walkers will set back the healing process and could end up doubling the time it takes to restore normal conditions. We all want the course to recover quickly after winter kill, but sometimes spring weather doesn't cooperate. Giving the grass time to recover fully from winter damage will ensure the best possible conditions for the rest of the season.